Hello, I'm Simon. Welcome to Simon's Cat Logic. We'll be finding out from a cat expert why cats behave the way they do. Today, we're talking about hunting. A lot of my ideas aren't from my cats now. They actually come back from the cats I've had all my life. My first cat, when I was nine, her name was Shelley, and we used to have an old apple tree in the garden. And my earliest memory of her is climbing up the tree and actually sitting on top of the blue tip box, listening to them inside. And of course, that's very bad. <laughs> I used to sort of try to get her down. But that's always stayed in my mind. It's got a graphic image of that cat sitting on, on top of that bird box. So for this I, the idea, I just thought, well, it, it's such a classic kind of cat thing. Um, how, would, how would the birds get their own back? Cats are perfectly adapted to hunting. They have excellent eyesight that they can see in low light levels. Um, they have really good hearing for hearing tiny little squeaks of their prey species. Uh, they're very, very fast and agile and they have an excellent sense of balance. Hunting drive is separate to their hunger drive. This is why cats that are really well fed will still feel the need or instinct to hunt. Owners often wonder what that sort of strange chattering noise is that cats make when they're at the window and they've spotted a bird. There's many different theories for it. Um, some people think that maybe they're practicing like a kill bite, whereas I think it just shows a sign of like arousal or how excited they are that they've seen the bird. And cats also show this behavior whether they're inside or outside. The average hunting success of an African wildcat is about one in four. The average mouse is about 30 calories. African wildcats need about 270 calories a day. Even kittens that have never experienced prey or hunting behavior can grow up to be proficient hunters, a bit like Lorenzo here with this fishing rod toy. However, other cats seem to struggle to catch anything. I looked out the window and saw Teddy running really quickly down the garden. I mean, I've never seen him run quicker. I thought, what's he going for now? And of course, going even faster than Teddy was a squirrel, um, which surprised me because squirrels can get quite big. You know, this is a big um, grey squirrel. And seeing Teddy run after this squirrel that uh, made it up the tree and Teddy went up the tree after him, I thought, I've got to do an, an idea about the cat chasing a squirrel and what can happen. Here we see Simon's cat, looking very angry. And here we have the squirrel, his tiny ears, his big cheeks. He's got an even bigger tail than the cat's. He's dropped, he's dropped one of his acorns. There he is, there's Simon's cat chasing that squirrel. <laughs> 